Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm pretty good, Molly. How about yourself? Uh, hey, in there. Oof, yeah. What's going on? Hi, Kathleen. How are you? Started uh, teaching this semester, so back to... Oh, goodness. How is that going? It's, uh, it's pretty good. It, uh, I'm teaching my students part-time. Some of them are coming in person and some are on Zoom. So it's like Zoom and people. So. Oh, so you're doing a Zoom and a, and a, a live class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, small groups are coming to campus. Oh, How do you feel about that? Yeah. What's that? How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel good. Um, uh, we could request it and... And you did. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm me and a couple different science classes on campus. Music classes are still on campus in small groups. Like the jazz band was playing outside the other night and like it sounded really good. <laughs> bet, yeah. Wow. yeah. Everyone has masks. I have shields and um, all kinds of things in place. So it's mm -hmm. it's been awesome. Yep. Good. So. Oh, good. And this is where? What college? At Cal State East Bay in Hayward. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, students want to come to campus. They're they have the choice. I, I, they're not forced to come, so they at any point they can opt out. So, huh. so far, so good. Yeah. Well, good luck with everything. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Ooh, yeah. All right. Um, why? Hey, Molly. Yeah. Before you get started, um, make me the. Um, I know I'm co-host, but make me the host so we don't forget so that when you leave, it doesn't um, close. Oh, the okay. let's see. Thank um, you. you just go next to the other Four Elements Fitness and say, make host under more. I think you're, it says you're co-host. I'm co-host, but last time you went off it, and I was co-host, it shut down the whole um, meeting. Oh, okay. So how do I, how do I make you a host? You know where it says more right next to my name? Oh, make a host right there. Okay. And I'll make you co-host, so you still, yeah, you're still co. I'll make you co-host. Yeah. Cool. Just check. I just figured that'll be easier to just do it now, so we don't forget later. Oh yeah, that totally um, makes sense. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's start. Um, body standing up. Um, and let's start from our neck um, today. Let's go ahead and. Um, Rotate, make big circles for our head. Go ahead and switch direction. Okay, come back to neutral. And now um, I want you to think about keeping your shoulders stable uh, and you're just turning your, your head and your neck. So this one, we're gonna try to reach our ear to our shoulder. So to reach, so keep your, shoulder, your shoulders just stable. You're moving your neck and your head one side and the other side. Good. Come back to neutral. And now you're going to try to bring your chin, right, to your shoulder. So try to tap your chin to your shoulder. Okay, come back to neutral. Now you're going to try to bring your chin to your chest and then Go ahead and raise up towards the ceiling and then come back. Just speed it up a little bit. One more time. Okay, now let's go to um, our shoulders. All right, I'm going to put my fingertips on top of my shoulders. I'm going to bring my elbows and touching them together and then opening it up. 
um, elbows up to the ceiling and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it all the way back down and then touching them again. So I'm gonna repeat that. Go ahead and now let's go opposite direction. Bring it back up and around, touch, and then back up and around, touch. One more time. Good, let's go to our elbows. Switch direction. Okay, good. No wrists. And switch direction. Good, let's go to our hips. And switch direction. Down my knees. Extraction. And just lift a right. A little bit more. Go ahead and rotate in one direction your ankle, your wrist. And switch direction. Let's go to the other side. And switch direction. Okay, take it off. All right, so we're gonna do one minute, um, uh, some sort of jumping, running exercises. And then we're gonna do um, sprawl. But I wanted to do this particular sprawl where you, your legs are staggered, right? Your legs are staggered. Then you're gonna come down with your hands down and it's the, Right, staggered here. This is the, my back leg. This is my leading leg. So when you come down, you're gonna kick the, the, the leading leg back. You're gonna go one, right? And typically, let's everybody do the same, the same um, um, uh, style of sprawl. You're gonna go um, kick this leading leg back, but and also the hip, this on this side will sprawl down. So you're gonna kick back and you come down and then you come back. So you do five, right? And then you're gonna switch to the other side and then go to the other side. Come up in a staggered stance again. So hand and the leading leg will go back, right? You're gonna do five per side, all right? So the first one, let's just um, do a regular kind of jog around with your arms. Um, with your arms just up and down, moving around, just get warming up your whole body. Okay, let's go. Oh.
Now bring your legs up a little bit higher. You want to think about bringing your thighs up towards your belly as high as possible. Now, Okay, sprawl. So get in your staggered stance and go ahead. Do five on one side. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. Up and jog in place. All right, next one. You're gonna go ahead and start your legs in a neutral position, bend at the knee, and from here, you're gonna step up, up, back. So it's as fast as you can. Right, you can switch to the other side too. So just the forward step and then back. Let's do the right side step first, and then halfway. I'll let you know if you do the left side step first. Okay, switch now, left first. Fast, fast. Okay, sprawl. Let's do a right, leading leg. Let's go. Right. Next one. See, we start here. We're going to be stepping outside now. It's out, out, and in, in, out, out, and in, in, out, out, and in, in. Bend, right? The knees a little bit. Let's go. Seven more seconds. Push, push, push. Time. Sprawl.
Go ahead and take a water break. Come back. Let's do wide stance here. I'm going to squat. And from here, um, go ahead and put your forearms on your thigh. And from here, you can just move around, move forward, backward, shifting your weight to your toes, shifting your weight to your heels, shifting your weight outside your foot inside your foot and it back and forth now i'm going to take a right hand push outward squat tuck your tailbone in and bringing that right shoulder down towards the ground take a deep breath go a little bit deeper good let's switch to the other side Come back to the right again. A deep breath, go down. Engage your belly, pull the belly button in. And go down, switch the other side. All right, so you're gonna come up and we're gonna go ahead and Bring your toes in and then heels, toe, heel. And you're a little bit wider, um, but narrower than before, but wider than your shoulders here. And you're gonna come down into a squatting position. You can have, right, your hands up. And from here, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna squat our hips down, tuck our tailbone in. And from here, we're gonna come down and bring our right, right? I'm gonna lift my foot up off the, my heel off the, the ground and pivot, right? And then bringing the toe inside. And then I'm gonna come back up and switch to the other side. So let's do this together 10 times. Let's start with the right. One, come back. Two, come back. Three, come back. Four, come back. Five, come back. Six, come back. Seven, come back, eight, nine, ten. All right, come up, shake it out. Whew. All right, so now we're gonna go back down, boom. And now we're gonna go and bring our knees outward, right? So look, I'm gonna I'm gonna diagonally at a 45 on the squat, come down. Look, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring the knee down and look, my foot from the back, it looks like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pivot my foot, right? I'm gonna go boom and then sit back up. So again, I'm gonna come down, 45, boom. Second leg comes down. I'm gonna lead my weight forward so that my back leg is light and then I'm gonna pivot and then sit up. If you're having a hard time and you pivot and you, uh, uh, right, you're gonna lean forward and pivot your windshield wipe, your foot, and then lean your weight back, right? Roll up to your foot and sit up. If you're having a hard time when you um, are leaning back, you can go ahead and use your hand to boom, help you to come up, all right? So we're gonna do, um, 
Let's start where you have some space, right? To your right. Let's go, come down. I'm gonna go diagonally with my right, my left. I'm gonna go ahead, lean forward, right? And pivot, sit up. That's one, right? And then again, if you have room, boom, pivot, come up, sit up, two. Let's go back the other way. So I'm gonna go my left, follow with my right, pivot my toes, and then come up. I'm gonna go to the left, right, lean forward, pivot. You might need to pull this leg a little bit closer as you pivot, and boom, come up. Again, let's go to our right, squat down, right knee, left knee. Lean forward, pivot, lean, lean back into a squat, stand up. Boom, right, left, left, pivot, lean back, sit up. Go to the other side, left, left, right, pivot, come up. Left, right, pivot, come up. Okay, now we're gonna go to the right again. So right, left, pivot, come up. Right, left, pivot, come up. Right, left, pivot, come up. Oh, I did three. I'm gonna go back three times, okay. Left, right, pivot, come up. Left, right, pivot, come up. One more time. Left, right, pivot, come up. Good job, come back, shake it off. I wanna make sure I got the time. So I could tell, hold on a second. Okay. Um, okay, so from here, again, we're gonna go into, before we go into this movement, let's, uh, we come to our knees, let's come to our knees and we're gonna do some, wrist warm-ups so right you get, basically I like to kind of just kick stand my, my leg out and I'm gonna walk my hands out so that I'm kind of like at a table top here right and I'm gonna spread my fingers out right on the ground as much as possible and I want to press the palms mostly the palms of my hand on to the ground. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and launch my weight, right, where um, my wrist is right above my shoulders. And from here, let's do some rotation. So we're gonna rotate to the left, come all the way back. So we're gonna do a few of that. Okay, and then come back to neutral. And then from here, let's go ahead and really, as you know, go as much as you can uh, tolerate with your wrist, but you're gonna come forward, right? Lean forward, and your, your palms pressing down onto the ground the entire time, right? Good, and then we'll come back. And now look, I'm gonna shift my hands where my fingers are pointing outward here. Again, I'm gonna come forward with my shoulders right above my wrist, and from here, I'm gonna go with my body circle around, keeping my palms down on the ground, one direction, and then let's go ahead and shift circle in the other direction. I'm gonna come and sit, uh, back to center here, right? And I'm gonna to lean to, uh, I'm gonna press my palms down, onto the ground, but I'm gonna lean my weight to the right hand first, hold. So go as far as you can manage, um, and then come back to center, and then we're gonna shift to the left. Good, we're gonna come back, and now I'm gonna turn my, my fingers facing my knees here, right? My fingers are spread out. And from here, I'm gonna do one circle, like circle around, boom. And then shift the circle. Boom. Okay. 
Okay. And now let's go ahead and really pressing the palms down onto the ground. We're going to sit back. Okay, come back. Go ahead and shake it off. Okay. Um, all right. So come back up again. Now we're going to get in this position and we're going to um, go ahead and now squat down and put our hands on the ground, right? So I'm here in this position where I'm on my... Um, Right, I'm on my toes and my knees are first on the ground and I'm gonna pull up so it's hovering, right? Um, so from here, I'm gonna hover, boom, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and move laterally. I'm gonna go to my, my right. So I'm gonna cross my hands, right? But my legs never cross. My legs never cross. It's my hand that's crossing. So if I'm going to my right, it's my right leg moves first and my left hand moves and then I bring them back together. So you wanna imagine opposite, there's a string that's attached to your right hand, I mean your left hand to your right um, leg and your right hand to your left leg. So when you move your right, your right leg, your right hand, left hand moves. So boom, right? And then if I go the opposite, I'm gonna move. So um, we're gonna go, depending on your space, let's try to do at least two to the uh, left and then come back two to the, um, I'm, I'm sorry, two to the right and then come back two to the left. So get in the position, let's go. One, two, and then go back. One, two. When we come down, let's go again. One, two, one, two. Come down, stretch your, come back, back again. One, two, go back. One, two. One more. One, two, one, two. Good job. All right, so now if you have room, we're gonna go from here uh, forward and backwards, right? So I, again, I want to think about there's a string that's attaching my opposite, right? If I'm pulling with my right, the leg goes, and the same, if I'm pulling, boom, the leg goes. So if you're moving forward and backwards, it's, it's the same, so you're gonna get in this position. So if I move my right hand, my left leg follows. So it's the opposite, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna go back. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's one thing I think about, your hands attaching, and then the other is um, you wanna line up your shoulders and your hips as much as possible here, right? You don't wanna be up or, you know, um, tilting your, your, um, your back. You wanna line them up and from here move. So if I'm going, I'm gonna move. And as much as possible, I keep my tabletop, my back as stable as possible. I don't shift too much one side or the other, right? So get in position. We're gonna do, um, I hope people have space. We're gonna do, uh, Let's see, four uh, forward and then four backwards, so we're even on each side. Okay, so get in your position. Let's go all right hand, left leg. Left hand, right leg. That's two, three, four. And then we're going to go back. One, two, three, four. Go forward. One, two, three, four. Backwards. One, two, three, four. Forward. One, two, three, four, backwards, one, two, three, four, again, one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four.
Bring your knees down, shake your wrists. Go ahead and take a water break and we'll start the jujitsu portion. going to use it for a little bit because we're going to do some stretching for the position but we're going to use it all right so um the first drill that we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick drill is um you're here and you want to step right go ahead and step your right leg in and from here it's really like you're going to come down and you're going to bring this right knee down onto the mat, boom, slide in, right? So basically that's the, um, those of you that uh, don't do uh, kind of breaking it down, but most jujitsu people know this. So you're gonna step, knee slide, boom. And then bring the back leg here, right? And then you can go back and do the other side. Step, knee slide, boom, right? So do that a couple times, a few times, so one side on the other side. Yes, good job. Next row is look, I'm gonna step my leg kind of um, diagonally. I'm gonna go kind of step and look at my, my knees are pointing right forward. When I step, my knee's gonna point diagonally. So I'm gonna step, so I'm facing diagonally that, right? So you might need to, right? Look at my foot, you're here. You're gonna step diagonally. So the back leg sort of shift a little bit, right? So you're kind of, your legs are pointing in the same direction unless you're, you know, super flexible or whatever, but you're gonna step, shift, and then you're gonna bring really what we did, the move, the, the drill, we're gonna bring this knee down and then follow with the second knee, right? So again, you're here, you're gonna go, Really, I want you to get in this position, like now, you kind of know the movement and now we're gonna do the movement mixed with uh, a jujitsu movement. So it's, you're really kind of, with your leg, you're gonna go, right, boom. So go here, you're here, you're, you're this leg that, that is standing still kind of shift a little bit. It's like in boxing where you kind of shift a little bit, right? You're gonna go, boom. So do that, let's everybody get in this position and then kind of draw a backward C. Boom. Draw a backward C, boom, good. Draw a backward C, okay. And now we're gonna go draw a backward C and then we're gonna go di diagonally with our knee down, right? And then follow with the second leg. Good, and you can go ahead and pivot the leg and then stand up. So again, we're here, we're gonna go draw diagonally with the knee, with the second knee, and then come up, pivot, and then come up. Again, we're gonna draw, boom, boom, pivot, and then come up. So if we're going to the other side, it's draw, Right, diagonally down, knee, pivot, and then come back up. 
Again, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look diagonally, I'm gonna draw knee down and then come back up. Okay, good job. All right. So we have been for a few weeks working on um, arm drag and going to the back. So we're going to continue to do that. So this is the marker, right? Let me see if I can, if you can see that. Uh, so if you can see the red mark right here will be my partner's right side and this is their left side. So the arm drag, right, is we're gonna block the wrist, right, hook under the, um, the elbow, and we're gonna step to the side, drag the arm across our body, step with the other leg, and then, so I'm gonna come to the other side and get the back, right? So again, those of you, I'll share the screen here, what it looks like. We're gonna do just a few of this and then go to a new takedown today. So again, look, it's, I'm gonna drag the arm, boom, come and take the back. So some drills here. So you're blocking the wrist and cupping right above the elbow, block the wrist, cup the elbow, drag across the body, and boom, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that drill. Um, let's do, I want you to practice, do maybe one, two, and then the three, you're gonna go arm drag to the back. One, two, and the third one, you're gonna go arm drag to the back. So give that a try. Yep, one, two, and then the third one, take the back. All right. Just a little warm up to that. I'm going to show the screen. Now we're going to go to a, a, a different takedown. Let me share that. I want to go all the way. We did all of that. We did this. Okay, the next one is another option is to right have the back and come down and do an angle pick from the back. So look, the arm comes and grab the ankles and boom, goes forward, right? And from here, you can take a back. So again, you get the back, you're gonna come down, boom, grab the ankle. So the movement is this. Um, a breakdown of that is, this is my partner's right leg, I'm at the back. And again, to reiterate, I typically don't like to stand right in the middle of the, my partner's back. I like to come, you know, to the corner. My arms are around and I'm gonna come to the corner and I'm low, I'm tripoding my leg, right? And I'm low and it's my chest and my shoulder at, the, at my partner's hip. So from here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm far away here, right? What I'm typically gonna do is look, I'm gonna, my hand's gonna come down. I'm gonna shift my leg though. I'm gonna, when I'm ready to go, I'm gonna shift my leg up. I'm gonna come down, grab, this is zoom thing sometimes. Okay, so I'm here, I'm gonna shift my leg, right? And I'm gonna, my hand's gonna come down and I'm gonna mimic this is their right, left leg. And I'm gonna bring my, this knee down and my shoulder naturally when I do that my shoulder will also be pushing and I'm gonna grab the, the, the leg and keep pushing and then I'm gonna come reinforce with the boom leg to bring them down so again I'm here boom I'm gonna stagger right I'm gonna go lean over my hand boom and reinforce 
right? Usually they're gonna fall down, boom, like that. And the second leg could come in and put a hook in in the back. So again, right, I'm here, right? I'm in the corner here, so it's my boom. And my knee's gonna come in and my hand, opposite knee and hand, boom. And then with the second. But I also wanna use my upper body to force my partner to go down by using my shoulder too, okay? So boom, I'm here. I'm gonna shift, look, bring him up. So give that a try. Do five on one side and five on the other side. Yeah, if, you're, if, if you have a hard floor, you can go in here and then stagger your stance and we've been doing the move. You could go really slow, boom, and then boom, and then come back up. And then go back, stagger your stance, boom, boom, and then come back up. So you're gonna look towards the leg that you're gonna pick the angle. So your hand should be close to the ground, right? Because you're picking the angle. So you're here, sagging your stance, boom, right here, really close. So leg, pick it up, boom, as you push. Nice. It's like you need a knee pads for this. You don't have the regular mat. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Make sure that you do the other side too. Okay, so um, for the next minute, I want you to, um, right, get in, get the back, but be active, right? Because in, in all honesty, when you have someone's back, they're not going to just stand there, right? So you really want to like um, send your elbow in and you want to really uh, challenge the balance by moving in, boom, 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 and then go, right? Actually, I'm going to do where you guys are moving around. And then I'm gonna say go and you do it, okay? So get in position, move around, go forward, backward, right? Try potting, elbow cinch your body, boom, 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 go. Good, and then come back, move around, pushing forward, pulling back, bring to the side, to the side, go. Making sure the same. Shoulder that your knees are going down is pushing forward too when you go down. So move, 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 move. Go. Leaning forward. Boom. Go. Coming down, picking the angle, coming up. Go. Pushing forward, coming back. Boom. Go. All right, good job. Any questions? No? I have to leave early today, but um, thank you so much, and I'll see you all um, on Sunday. Have a Thanks, good evening. Molly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so everyone else will take a minute. Let's see if she left and we're still here. Good. Um, so we'll take a minute, and then we'll come back and kickbox. Take a minute or two, grab some water.
So when you're ready, come on back. We'll get started. Um, let's do, let's first just do a little, um, you know, stretch out our legs. Let's do, well, let's start with the, um, the quad stretch. So we're gonna do, you know, find a spot on the wall um, or on a, um, on a couch. You're gonna line your shin up with that wall or couch so your shin is you know, like this against the wall or the couch. And you're gonna post your other leg up. And then when you do this, you're going to bring your, um, tip your hips under. So if you can't tip your hips under, kind of up towards, you know, up towards the ceiling um, in the front, then um, bring your knee out a little more from the wall so you get a, a less tight angle. So you're trying to stretch out the front of your um, downside hip and um, especially your quad, the front of your leg. Push that out. All right, switch, other side. Good, come down. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do a, um, we've been doing these ones. We're going to add one at the end, but let's do a, um, a, a, uh, the hamstring stretch that we do sometimes. So um, this is where you're in a wide leg position and you're gonna come down um, three levels. So like my hamstrings are tight today. Um, you're gonna come down, the first level will be the, you know, where you wanna start. And then by the end, um, the third level is your lowest position for today. And you're trying to put your chest onto the ground again. So and you're not hunching. Um, it doesn't matter that you hit the ground. It matters that you come down with your back pretty straight, trying to just, um, you know, bend neatly. Also keep your legs flexed, your knees pointed up towards the ceiling to protect your hamstrings. So come to the um, first position. So your, your least extreme position for today, your starting position, Just hang out there a little bit. All right, then come to your second position. All right, and then come to your deepest position for today. All right, come up, keep the position. I'm bring my camera, but you stay there. Um, and now we're just gonna do the um, side stretch. So you're gonna come over, you can either grab your foot, open up, or you can just come straight to the side because you're trying to open up your side of your body now. Come up, other side. Good, come up to the middle, you can shake that out. And then let's um, put this farther from me so you can see me. Let's, uh, let's do this 90-90 stretch. So this is um, similar to <coughs> some of the gymnastic moves that Molly does. So you're going to get your legs. The main thing to check here is that you, sometimes in gymnastica we do this sort of thing, um, sort of an S shape, um, you know, we're like a little thing in the middle records, so I always think of. But the, uh, but for this, you really want 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, and I usually look down and I try to like see that, you can't see it that well at the angle you're at, but my foot is like my front foot. Let's do this, let's everyone have the same direction. So let's have, um, I'll do mirror to you. So put your right foot forward. So your right foot is the, the one where the bottom of the foot's facing the screen. You know, if you were facing it, it's kind of in front of you. The, um, the left foot will be behind you. So you're sitting like this and your right foot should kind of line up along your left leg. I also look for like a square here. So if this shape 
isn't a square when you're looking down at it. If it's a more collapsed, then try to make it a square. Um, for the stretch, it's uh, good to have that. And then press your, um, turn towards your front side leg and press your um, right leg and press your knee down. So you hold there, you're just trying to keep your knee pressed down as much as you can. And then you're gonna straighten your back. You're gonna stick out your butt. When I stick out your butt, I mean kind of actually arch a little bit in your lower back here. And then you're gonna come forward and just try to lay your chest over that front um, leg. Come up and then let's twist off to the right side. So now we're gonna go this direction and I'm gonna like here and I'm gonna just try to do the same kind of bend but off to the side of my leg now. So you're gonna turn to the right of your right thigh and try to bend down once again and try to keep your legs in place. Good, and then come up and let's go over the calf now. So let's do one, we did one over right over your leg one off, you know, one to the right side of your leg or the right side of your knee, now we're going to one to the left side of your knee. So you're going to try to come over your, your shin. And come up. And the last one, you've got um, two choices of arm position. You can either post your arms behind you or you can bring your arms in front of you. And we're going to twist back towards your back leg. So we're going to twist back. Nice, come back to the middle. Let's do this, let's, um, let's, uh, let's change positions, but let's do um, lift your uh, left leg and bring it out. And let's hold here for a few counts, a few breaths. So we're just trying to press your knees down with your muscles as much as you can, especially using your glutes. And actually your, um, you know, any of your leg muscles are good too, <laughs> to do that. Okay, and then let's, now we're gonna um, pivot on your right foot and turn to the other side. And then once you're on the other side, you're gonna adjust your position. So you're checking for that 90 degree angle. You're checking that your left foot is lined up with your right leg. I can't get my leg quite as low on this side, my knee, but I'm trying to get it as low as I can. So face your left knee and then press it as flat as you can to the floor. All right, and then we're going to, um, you can just put your hands on the floor. Flip, yeah, probably put your hands on the floor. But if, you, if, you, if you're really comfortable with it, then you can not do, have your hands on the floor and you're just gonna bend. When, before you bend forward, um, arch your back a tiny bit. Like kind of think like you're trying to like twerk, like you're trying to stick your butt up a little bit. And then, um, and I'm not that great at it, but that's the idea. And then, uh, and then you're gonna lay your chest along your um, front leg. If that makes any like nerve pain kind of flare up, don't go deep into it. If it feels like a good stretch, do it. If it sort of feels like, you know, the kind of pain that you're gonna regret later, don't push through that. This can flare up sciatica and stuff, so it's really good for preventing it, but if you're prone to it flaring up, then be careful with it. All right, and then come up, and then now we're gonna go off to the left side of your leg. So you're just gonna twist, so your chest is facing off to your left, and then come down. And then come up, and then the last one over your shin. So again, like I have sciatica in this hip, so I have to do it really careful. You can see my, my position isn't that great. My back tends to round when I'm doing it. This hip is tight for me. All right, and then come up, and then again, either hand position, arms behind you or arms in front of you, and we're gonna twist off to your right side. forward and let's do one last thing let's do a, a butterfly stretch so you can bring your feet together try to press your knees down um, you know using your muscles to press your knees down and then you're trying to bend forward trying to keep a straight back so you don't have to go super low I like to grab my feet and help pull me down 
better if you could pull down with your muscles, but I'm not great at it in this position. Right, then come up and let's um, let's stand up and let's let's do some boxing. So let's start with um, we all know those moves. That's good. All right, we're gonna do some lateral motion and we're gonna um, let's also do some. Let me keep an eye on the time. To make sure. Get over ambitious. Okay, we're gonna do some. Let's do some um, weaves first. We're gonna do some weaves with our lateral motion. So, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do one minute like this. We're going to do a um, a slipping you know, drill. Um, so when I'm doing that, I'm pivoting, show my feet a little bit. I'm pivoting my feet and hips. So you see, I didn't need to be that. There we go. Pivoting my feet and hips here, whichever side, um, if I'm, if I'm um, slipping towards my left side, my, my right shoulder's forward, my right leg is turned. Whichever shoulder is forward, basically. So my left shoulder is forward here, so my whole left side is turned. My whole right side, left side, right side. But we're gonna do an extra element to this, which is we're gonna add a weave to it. So the drill is gonna be one, two, three, four, weave. One, two, three, four, weave. I think that's alternating sides. One, two, three. Yes, it is. So, um, so the uh, so basically the weave it kind of gets you into a good form with the weave because the weave starts moving away from the punch. The, um, so the weave is, uh, the slips are avoiding a straight punch. This is if the punch is coming right to my head, you know, like a, a jab or a cross. If it's coming, that pink thing behind my head, and that's where the punch is coming at my face, I'm trying to get offline of that punch. But, um, but a weave is a, a hook punch, so that's a punch that's coming around the side of my head. So I want to um, move a little bit away from it before I circle under. Or if I just drop and start circling, it still might hit me. So it's coming, and I'm moving away from it with that slipping movement, and then circling. So the drill is, you can start to either direction you want. One, two, three, four, weave. One, two, three, four, weave. One, two, three, four, weave. So you should end up doing alternating the weave that you do, because I'm never coming back to the center of starting left, left, right, left, right, weave, right, left, right, left, weave. So since I've come over here, my next weave is off to this side. People have that? So it's right, left, right, left, weave, left, right, left, right, weave. Good, so we're just gonna do that for a minute. Or we could do it for we can do it for two minutes and then Sarah and Chalk can each do a minute. You guys want? Okay, we're gonna do it for two minutes. We have a little break in between. So let's get set. For the first minute. I was just doing something for 25 minutes. I don't think we wanna do that long. Here we go, one. Okay, get set and go. Two, three, four, weave. One, two, three, four, ah, weave. While you're doing it, I'm gonna um, talk about some things to keep in mind, but keep going. Um, you want to, um, don't do what I'm doing, which is I keep looking at the, I'm looking at the camera, which is low for me. You wanna be really looking straight ahead, not looking down. You want your, you know, if someone was punching you, you wanna be able to see their face while you're weaving. And you don't wanna bend at the waist. All the bend is in your legs. It might be a tiny drop of bend in your waist. Start slow and make sure you have good form and you can pick up the speed if you get comfortable. Nice. 
right, shake it out for a second. All right, we're gonna do one more minute now. Same thing, get set and go. If you felt comfortable, you can gradually pick up the speed through this round. Don't do it all at once though, because you don't want to lose the form. So now we're going to incorporate that into some lateral motion punching drills. So when you're moving sideways, we've been um, working on this before. So let's do Okay, so moving to your left, you're going to do this combination. It goes, it's three little combinations. Jab, Jab, cross, actually let's do, um, yeah, four little combinations. So it's jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross. So each one builds. So it's jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, weave. So when I hook, that's my initial turn in this particular case. I did through this hook. Uh, my left shoulder's facing forward, I'm gonna go with that for my weave. Hook, weave, hook, cross. And let's just do that one direction now. So when you're, um, let's, uh, you can do one or two things when you're done. You can either just turn around um, with a good pivot and do it the other, other way, or you can shuffle back. I mean, you shuffle back, shuffle back throwing jabs. So either one you want to get you know, to the position to do it again. So you're moving towards your left, Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross. One more time. You guys got it? I'll do it one more time. So it's jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross. Shuffle back. Throwing jabs. All right, so get set. Be a two minute round. And go. Oh, wait. There we go. You try to move as you step, moving straight sideways.
good. And um, <coughs> excuse me, if you uh, if you've been if you remember some other lateral motion drills that we've done, where we're trying to move towards that side. For example, we do a spinning kick, and we're trying to assume the person is going this way, and so maybe they're trying to get past me. So um, we throw the spinning side kick to deal with that person. So this is another similar idea, is that they're coming, they're getting away to my left. So I'm going here, maybe they throw a punch at me, but I'm coming outside where they are, trying to kind of corral them in with my, with my punch to the outside of where they were trying to go. So, um, so we're gonna do something to the other side now. I think it's harder to move that way, um, but more important, or more common to be able to need to move that way if you're same stance, if you're if you're orthodox and tend to be fighting. So the um so here's the combination. Let's do it's gonna be almost the same, but a little variation. So it's jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. Um, and then the last one is going to be jab, cross, hook, but now I'm gonna retract that hook to weave. So last time I hooked and weaved with it, um, but this time I'm gonna retract the, the, the hook. So I'm gonna go hook, weave. That's gonna set up my cross, cross, hook. So it's the opposite, um, the opposite weave, even though it's off the same punch. When, when I threw the, you know, um, here, if the, it'd be their left hook, if they're, um, I mean the right hook, if their right hook was coming at me, is that right? I have to think like an orthodox person, yes. If the right hook was coming up, really, I'm mirroring myself and then also trying to pretend that I'm right-handed at the same time. This is my left leg. That would be their right leg. Yeah, so if their right leg was coming at me, or right punch was coming at me, I'm just circling under that punch. This is where now they're throwing, now their other punch is coming at me, so I retreat. So it's hook, pull back, weave the other way, cross hook. So the whole combination is jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, retract, cross, hook. Again, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, other weave, cross, hook. So that this weave, you know, you throw a hook from your, with your left, but now you're gonna go back towards your left. So you end up on your right, ready to throw your right cross. One more time. Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, retract, cross, hook. All right, so two minute round like that. Get set and go. I'll do a couple, a couple and then I'll watch. I know this one's hard. And you're trying to move laterally the whole time. Keep going, but I forgot to say this. When you're done, shuffle back to the other side just like you did with jabs.
legs. So now we're gonna add kicks into that. So um, we're gonna add roundhouse kicks. So let's do a quick, um, we're not gonna do the roundhouse kick drill. Um, we're not gonna do like a chair drill, although kind of tempted to. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, but there's time. I think it'll be good for us. So grab a chair or a spot on the wall. If you have a partner, you can use your partner as your, as your chair, I'll show you. There's a couple different ways to do this depending on what you've got. So what we're gonna be practicing here, because on the chair a lot of the time we practice, and in, indoors, a lot of the time I practice head kicks, because I, or you know, in my apartment as opposed to in a gym, because they're sort of more self-contained. You know, like they're not, they don't have such a big crazy swing that I have to, you know, pivot to control and, you know, it's kind of wild. <laughs> you can sort of weirdly enough control the head kick more, but, um, but, uh, but this isn't a head kick, the kick we're gonna do, it's a body kick. So when you do a body kick, you really wanna be hitting with your front of your thigh and um, you could actually kick with your leg bent. So your leg can straighten out, but that's just for extra, it's actually to help you snap the kick back. So if I go like this, if I'm trying to throw a body kick and I'm kicking this chair and I, I have to straighten my leg, let me, show, let me put this so you can see my whole hips. If I kick like this, that was a bad kick. I extended my leg because I couldn't reach the chair. I couldn't reach the chair. I only got this far. That's as far as I could kick, and I went like that. We have to with a head kick, because that's what happens. I get that far, and I, I can't reach their head. But with the body, I should be able to reach them with my um, shin without straightening my leg. I should be able to use my pivot to bring my bent leg to hit them with my shin. So, um, so if a lot of times actually people who have tight hips will end up kicking high a lot on pads because they can't get the full pivot. And so they end up kind of making it up with leg. Really the leg is just used to push off. I kick a person, the straightening is that. See, I straightened and that's when the chair went flying. That's how I launched back. I hit them bent. You know, and in real life, like sometimes your leg straightens out a little bit before you hit them, but really a full power roundhouse kick. You're hitting with your, with your leg bend. Yeah, so to practice that, if you have a chair, the way we're gonna practice it is this. We're gonna just do a minute drill. If you have a chair and you want your, or a wall and you're balancing, this is one way you could do it. So notice, I'm just trying to set up the kick and pivot, so I'm pivoting on my standing foot. I'm bringing my, um, my uh, in this case, my left hip, or it looks like to you guys my right hip. I'm bringing that all the way front. And if there was a person right here, I'm hitting them with my shin. I'm trying to kind of get this. I'm trying to get my, my butt through. So I'm not here at all when it hits. My hips are through. So that's what we're working on. Another way you can do it, especially with a wall, is you can, or a person. You can also kick the person in the belly and like lay your leg right across here. Do that with the chair or the wall too. So those are both variations of the same thing. So when I do that, I'm trying to really not unbend my leg. Um, yeah, if you're doing it going down onto something, will be the best way to do it there. Hmm, I'm not sure how the back. Because for this one, if you have, yeah, it'd be way better to do something straight for this. Something, a, you know, a parallel, a, what do you call that? A wall type of surface rather than coming down. Because there you kind of, your hip moves a different way. I'm trying to kind of get like that body kick feeling. Good, so let's do one minute. Does everyone have some, one of those variations you could do? So again, you can either hold on to something and just practice pivot, or it's kind of fun to practice kicking the thing or person. I would usually do this with people's bodies and we have the partner hold and you just, and then you actually try to kind of push them back as you retract. Balance, press in them a little bit, retract. Just like that, yep. And you even try to get it so you can hold there for a few seconds. So you try to pivot and just, so that you could, you really have this control in that spot. The best part is if you do this, like with my teachers, they would do this drill. My teachers do it on me sometimes, or if someone did demo, and he'd be here, and he'd be talking, la la la, blah blah blah, here's the alignment. And he'd be like, and then you just retract. And that's when the person would go flying on the retraction, because it's that push off that actually makes the power. 
So let's do one minute each side. I'll just do it with a minute timer so you have time to switch. So I'll tell you, or you'll hear a bell go off when it's one minute. So get set, whichever side you want to start with, and go. Shake it out, other side, get set, and go. Same thing, other side. So really emphasizing your, if you're kicking with your right leg, you probably could be your left legs now. If you're kicking with your left leg, you want your left hip in front of you when the kick lands. You want your left butt pushing through. chair away if you have one. We're gonna go back to that lateral motion drill. But adding kicks. And I'll just say, because I know a lot of you do traditional martial arts, that that type of kick with the knee bent like that, that's your traditional common roundhouse um, for a kickboxing, a kickboxing roundhouse. And um, you can do the head kick style kick to the body as well with the, you know, where the leg snaps out. That's a distance kick. So you know, you can hit the solar plexus that way. It has less power, it has more reach. So it's not that you never would kick with the legs straightened out, but you still do pivot the hips, hips as much as possible. And also, it's a less powerful kick, but it has more range. So sometimes it can work better, which in case you're wondering why. In kickboxing, it's the traditional kick is you hit with the leg sort of straight. Even sometimes, you know, when they straighten it, it's to, to yank it back. So, um, the, basically, the closer to your knee it hits, the more power it has, the more it's connected to your core. Um, the further from your knee it hits, the less power it has, but sometimes the more snap or speed. Okay, so, um, so the, here's the combination. So we're gonna do the combination of the punches we were doing before, now with kicks, and with um, going both directions in the combination. So hopefully you can remember this. So moving to the um, left, I'm gonna go jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross, and now I'm going to switch that and throw my um, left kick. And then I'm going to go back the other way. Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, reverse, weave, cross, hook, right kick. I can pivot all the way around if I want to get back to the same direction. So again, Moving to the left, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross, switch step, left kick. Moving um, to your right, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, come back the other direction, weave, cross, hook, kick. So it's the same punches. What's different is, the main difference is you weave a different direction, and that sets up cross hook kick or hook cross kick. So, um, so when you're going to your left, you weave going with the 
with the punch. So I just use the punch as part of my weave. That set up a second hook, cross, kick. They're over here, so I'm trying to deal with them over there. They're moving that way. Um, now I'm moving, they're moving that way. So I'm doing the other weave, cross, hook, I'm kicking them. You know, they're off, they're off to that side, so I'm trying to kick them with my right. So one more time, moving to the left, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, weave, hook, cross, kick. When you kick, I'm kicking a little uh, limited over here because there's a table, but when you kick, try to think about that same kind of hip movement. Um, and then going the other direction, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, retract, cross, hook, right kick. So if you were moving towards your right, it's a right kick. If you're moving towards your left, it's a left kick. Any questions? You guys got it? This is the, this is the last round. Let's just do a three minute round like that. It'll be the last thing. Okay, get set. I'll do a few so people can, you can see, and then um, I'll watch and see how it's going. three minutes yeah maybe it was all right so um sort of felt like two minutes um let's uh let's spot, grab a spot for meditation now so wherever you want to sit if you're going to join us
So you can just sit in your spot where you're comfortable and then um, close your eyes, take some deep breaths in through your nose. You can exhale through your nose or exhale um, through your mouth if that's, um, if you're still trying to catch your breath. Just so take a few breaths and try to get calm and comfortable in this position. And then let's try this meditation um, uh, technique that um, we did on Sunday as well. Um, if you don't want to, you can just, you know, um, do kind of the first part of this, which is um, just you know, breathing, trying to calm down your mind and trying to not get involved with any thoughts. So if thoughts start to float into your head, just dismissing them, not getting involved with them, um, letting them pass on by. Um, I like this, this method that you could try where if you catch yourself thinking, which you will, unless you're a really amazing meditator, then um, to try to, rather than just let it float by, try to find who's thinking. So sort of, if you can feel the thought in your brain, then where's the thinker? Like don't spend a lot of energy, but just sort of try to locate the thinker. And it's an interesting way to make the thought dissipate and, um, and bring your mind back to an open, calm, sort of un uninvolved place. So try that if you want, or otherwise just try to, um, you know, sit breathing calmly and keeping your mind calm and still. Take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then when you're done, you can open your eyes. And then bring your palms, rub your palms together. Generate some heat between your palms. And then rub back on your ears. You 
rub your palms together again. And then rub the back of your neck. All right, and then you can clasp your hands, um, turn back towards one side, look over your shoulder. Right. Over the other shoulder. <laughs> First shoulder. Second shoulder. I know you were so Siamese and loud. Okay, go back to front. <laughs> you can shake your legs out, rub your thighs. While you're rubbing your legs, you can just rub your thighs, your calves, your feet. Um, I just wanna tell you that that kind of meditation, um, it's kind of cool for that technique of like looking into the, the spot, like trying to find the thought. You can use it for um, like if you're feeling stressed out and feeling like, where's the stress, find the stress and it'll sometimes dissipate feelings of, you know, stress or anxiety or, um, you know, sadness, obviously not like deep grief, but if you're, you know, feeling sad in the morning, given the state of things, and, you know, you don't want to not be sad about things that are real, but you're just can't let it go in your body. That can be a, a it can sometimes be helpful, like find the sadness, it'll sometimes sort of loosen it up. If uh, the thing that's tight or clenched in your body. Um, so I've been kind of using that a little bit tell you so thank you guys great work today great to see you advanced Thanks. kickboxing member is um at 4 30 to 5 30 tomorrow any of you be welcome to do it again i don't slow down as much with the explanation of punches but you're not really needing that so um yeah any of you be welcome to do it if you're able thank you uh, thank you thanks karen thank you great work thanks. see you later bye bye